You know, it's nice having an automotive power tool with good LED lighting. So that way when you're working underneath the hood of a car or truck, you can see exactly what you're doing. So let's get this tool review started so I can show you the rest of the features of this Ryobi impact wrench. So here's a closer look at the impact. So if you take that off and that, you'll see this is what's included. This is a tool only. It's a 3.8 size. And then the battery is sold separately. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one of the Ryobi batteries that I have right here. This is a six amp hour battery, 18 volt. And then I also am using this one right here. This is probably the optimum size for this just to keep everything light. This is a two amp hour battery. 18 volt. Let me show you what I like about their battery system. Well, a couple things. You can just take one hand and lock it in place. And if you take that off, you can just go like that and grab another one. So this is the battery right here. This is nice and small. So this impact wrench right here is designed for automotive use primarily. So with it being a smaller battery like that, that'll help you just get into tighter spots and then also not be so heavy if you're using it consistently. So in this video, I'd like to just quickly point out some of the key features of this, and then I'm going to put this to the test for you. So let's take a closer look. So it's an 18 volt, 3 8 inch impact wrench. It has a square anvil with a hog ring to easily change your sockets. So if you take a look at the end right here, this design right here doesn't have a locking pin. So this is really designed for when you're working low to the ground. So if you want to quickly like take sockets, you don't need to have another tool to do that. So the other design of the detent pin, that's made to use another hand to release it. So if you're working up high like on a bridge or like on a tall building, you're not gonna accidentally have that pop off and fall down and hit somebody doing some serious damage. So for automotive use, I'm gonna say you're gonna be happy that it has the hog ring. So this produces up to 150 foot-pounds of torque and up to 3,400 impacts per minute. So you can also, it has a three speed right here. So for a different variety of applications, you go one, two, or three. There's one, two, three. And it does have a variable speed trigger as well. So it's a nice feature to have, very simple to change. Well, I also want to point out while I'm looking at it right now, it has this magnet right here. So let's say you want to put like this adapter right here. This is a uh, 3 8 to half inch. So if I'm going between sockets, I want to just store that real quick. I could put that on the magnet right there. You can see it holds it from falling off. So it's probably not made for anything bigger than this, but Nevertheless, it's kind of cool to have some onboard storage. Then also there's some storage right there too for a, uh, a bit. Tri-beam LED increases work area visibility. The grip zone over mold for optimum grip and user comfort. I definitely have to say that this really fits my hand nice. And I probably wear like an extra large glove just to give you an idea. So definitely um, I'm, I'm happy with that. So let's include here the P263 the 3 8 impact wrench, belt clip, and an operator's manual. So here it shows the battery runs off 18 volt, 3 8 inch anvil, and then the tool weight itself, 2.6 pounds. So if you have some other Ryobi tools, any OnePlus tool works with any other OnePlus battery. And then it also comes with a three year warranty. So if you wanna see all the reviews on the Home Depot website and see the current price and some battery prices, I will have a link down below. And if you check out the reviews, you'll see it has somewhere like between 150 to 200 people reviewing this. And I'm pretty sure it's somewhere like right around a 4.8 star review, which is awesome. So I am quite confident that this will work well for you. What's interesting is that I have a lot of sockets, but I don't have a lot of impact sockets. So this is really my only collection right here. <laughs> You can see I painted some of them. This is for my one trailer where I tend to change it. I have an aluminum trailer, so I painted that silver. My red truck. And then I have a Turf Tiger mower. So just for fun, I painted the sockets just so I can quick grab it. And with these kind of all worn on the outside, it's kind of hard to see what size you're looking for. So this right here makes the blade changes really quick and easy. I can just grab this 
go out there and change them. So this socket set right here I've had now for probably at least 20 years. I think they're a relatively inexpensive socket set, but they've held up really well for me. The case is from somewhere else, but I purchased these at Builder Square. And I'm curious if you guys have ever shopped there before. If you have, put a comment down below. I'm just curious to see who else has been there many years ago. This kind of brings back some memories. Okay, so now that we've had a chance to see all the specs of this impact, I'd like to put it to the test and some projects around the house. So we're gonna lead up to the ultimate test for this, which is taking out the lug nuts off my truck, which I know this isn't really designed for that. They recommend a half inch size, which RYOBI makes. And then another test is being able to take the blades off my mower. And those things get tightened probably even more so than my truck. So. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna start with a small project, taking these two bolts out right here, using this 3 8 by half inch socket. Let's try it on speed one first, just to see what that does. Nope. Speed two. Nope. Three. Yep, that's loosening it. There we go. Take this one out. All right, and if I need to change this roll bar out, I could do that pretty easy. Here in my dump trailer, I have an adjustable hitch. It looks like these haven't been taken off in a long time, so I'm gonna use some WD-40 to loosen some rusted parts. Just kind of hit those two a second. Let it soak in. So I have it on speed three, so we're gonna have the most power available. And then I have this adapter socket right here to make it go up to a half inch. Okay, it's a 13 sixteenths. Same size as my lawnmower. Let's hope it works. All right, line it up, ready? All right, took it off. Awesome. Yeah, that did have to work for a little bit, but that's pretty heavy duty size. Pass the test. All right, this will be a good test. The Ford F-150. All right, let's try this one right here. See if it works. Oh yeah, right away. Awesome. Let's try another one. No problem. It definitely sounds like a beast, I have to say. I like it. All right, just for kicks, I'm gonna put the two amp hour battery on just to see if the battery power has anything to do with it. All right, let's try this one down here. Yep, no problem. Even with the two amp hour battery, definitely works well. So I'll go back and torque these later. Are you ready for the ultimate test? And this is the socket for changing the blades. You know, this 3 8 inch impact wrench really surprised me. I didn't think that it was gonna take on some of those really tough tasks like I have, like the uh, truck lug nuts, or especially the mower. I can think of three times on that mower where I haven't been able to take that nut off the top. One time I was at a dealer and they ended up taking a torch to it. They used like their biggest air wrench. They couldn't get it off. So, you know, I was really surprised the speed of how fast I was able to take the lawnmower blade off that nut. It was just incredible. So I think this almost seems like it spins faster than some other bigger half inch ones that I've tried. So definitely thumbs up from all the tests that I put it through. So my goal of this video is to help you guys out if you're deciding to purchase this Ryobi tool right here. And if you have any questions or something I left out, please let me know. I'd be happy to respond and answer it. So if you find this video review interesting, informative, and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.